Hey, it's Stargirl the Practical Witch. A lot of you have been asking me to talk about blood magic. Well, today I'm going to show you how to use blood magic safely. So blood magic is a really good tool for love and attraction spells, especially menstrual blood. I know when a lot of us talk about blood magic or using blood, it's a very touchy, taboo subject simply because of the connotations that have been put out there in Hollywood. But as long as you do it safely, it is nothing to freak out about. And I'm going to show you the ways that I like to use it. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is cleanse your space. So I like to get my sage and light it. Also, you want to open one window so the energy can clear out. I just do a prayer in my head or out loud asking to be protected and to cleanse all negative energy. However, you can use whatever method you feel is best before you cast a spell. As long as you say a prayer for protection and cleanse the room, everything will be great. So one way you can use blood magic is by using your own menstrual blood. This is the best way to do it because you are not putting harm on yourself. You are simply taking what is already there. If you want to manifest your soulmate, the one, I have a video on how to do it. You write on a piece of paper, right? You say, I have met my soulmate and he is and then list everything you want him or her to be okay so write it in present tense i have met my soulmate and he or she is all the things you want them to be but remember you want them to be good for your soul development you want them to be kind to you so make sure you stay away from writing shallow things and you write things that would be good for your soul and your higher self and evolving in this life the reason why you write it in present tense is because the world doesn't understand, spells don't understand the human construct of time. So you want to write it like it's already happening. Sometimes we have trouble finding our ultimate soulmate or the one because we're putting out vibrations like, oh, I'll always be single. Oh, no one will ever love me. And because of the law of attraction, you're not meeting the one you're supposed to meet. So pretty much this helps you fix your vibrations and attract the one. Once you've written that, you put a star next to it. This is the star of creation and put a little circle. This is the star of creation. Um, this helps create things, attract things to you. So that's why you want to put the star of creation um, right next to your intent. Once you put the star of creation next to your intent, you're going to take a little bit of menstrual blood. This is literally all you need, guys. Like this tip of this Q-tip is all you need. Do not go crazy with the menstrual blood. More blood doesn't equal more power. That is ridiculous. Okay, so just a little bit. If you are a guy, you can honestly pop a zit and that little bit of blood that comes out would be just amount, right amount. You don't need to go crazy with the blood. Like, honestly, the less blood, the better. You just need to have some of your DNA and blood on the tip of a Q-tip. Oh, also, because I know a lot of us, um, you know, we don't think when we're in the heat of a moment, Please be safe and sterile about the way you get your blood. Like, I mean, like, don't use any, use, be sterile, be clean. Please use common sense. This, don't use dirty needles. I don't know why I have to say this, but I feel like I have to in case there's one person out there that decides they want to use a rusty nail. So once you get your tip of blood, your Q-tip full of blood, you are going to dab the star, the star of creation with that blood. Why do you do this? Well, it's a star of creation, and when you put blood, your life force, onto the star of creation, you activate it. You activate your intention, okay? So then, what I like to do after that is I fold it up, and then what works for me best is I plant it outside under the dirt um, during the moon a full moon because the reason why or a new moon so the reason why you want to plant it at night is because the moon's energy is very powerful and also when you plant plants when is the best time to plant them at night because the sun the rays of the sun are too harsh during the day so you plant plants you plant your intention under the soil 
at night and then you think this is a seed to your intention. With every day, with every passing night, your seed will grow. When actually I manifested my twin flame by doing just this, okay? Let's say you want to be more attractive and you want other people to view you as more attractive, which I know a lot of people have requested. What you do is you draw a flower on your piece of paper. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but really be creative about it. The more energy you put into this, the more powerful your spell will be. Because what are spells? M manipulating energy onto your chosen intention. So if you want to get really creative about this flower and make it look amazing and spend a lot of energy and time on it, do it because it'll make the spell more powerful. So once you've drawn your flower, you are going to mix some honey and a little bit of your menstrual blood, or if you're a guy, a little bit of your blood, onto the center of the flower with some honey. Well, in this case, I'm using agave because I'm trying to trans transition into being completely vegan, so I didn't have honey. But once again, just a little amount, that's all you need. Mix it in with the honey in the center of your flower, okay? Then you are going to imagine that you are the flower with the honey. And because you mixed some of your DNA into it, this will activate it. This will make people be drawn to you. So you're going to envision bees being drawn to you. You're going to imagine that these bees are future suitors and people are just so attracted to you and energized by you and want to be near you. If you need to draw a little bee to like help the imagery, because the more you imagine it and the more you feel it, the more your spells will work. So you can draw a little bee and you can draw as many bees as you want. If you want a lot of people attracted to you, you want everyone to see you as attractive, draw a bunch of bees just facing the flower and coming towards the flower because you are the flower. Really envision that you are this flower where bees are just swarming you. Everyone thinks you're attractive. Everyone wants a piece of you. Okay, and really envision that. If you need some words to help it really resonate in your head and say, everyone I meet finds me irresistible. That's fine too, but once again, speak in present tense because the world doesn't understand, spells don't understand the human construct of time. Once you do that, you want to put it outside in nature. I always say that, and what works for me always is burying it in nature. Um, so, what I do is I bury it in my pot plant outside. I bury it somewhere, you know, just under some dirt, and I just imagine that with every given day, my intention grows from the soil, and people are more attracted to me, and they um, can't resist me, you know, all these bees can't resist my pollen. That's pretty much the intention of the spell if you want everyone to find you irresistible and attractive. This spell will also work on one specific person. So if you're really into someone, but they just won't give you the time of day and you want them to give you a chance or you want them to notice you or text you, you can write their specific name like so-and-so feels drawn to me. They can't resist me. Now, I don't believe in making someone love you. This will just help them focus on you and pay attention to you and at least give you a chance. Now, once they give you a chance and they decide, no, I don't like this person, they have free will, they can be completely out of it, they have the choice to walk away. But this will at least give you a chance for them to get to know you and at least give you some closure on why you feel so drawn to somebody. Let's say you are already in a relationship and you just want them to start paying attention to you, stop taking you for granted, be more attracted to you, or something of that nature. What you can do is you can take some of your menstrual blood, and it only needs to be a little drop. Or if you're a guy, you can take, you know, a little tiny bit of your blood, like a little drop, there doesn't need to be a lot, and boil it in some water. When you boil that drop into the water, and it's been boiling for a while, you can cook pasta in that boiling water and then um, make it a meal. Or you can make it into tea. Anything that requires boiling water and um, anything that requires boiling water in the recipe, you can do this for. So just a little drop of blood in a boiling water, tea, if you're cooking pasta, anything like that. And then you can feed it 
to the person you are with. Now, please be sanitary about this. You don't want to do it on someone who hasn't been tested or you haven't been tested. You want to do it with someone you've already had relations with so you know they're clean and you're clean. Please be sanitary about it. And once you make this food or this tea, you feed it to them. Once they ingest it, they will be completely focused with you, only have eyes for you, start feeling those romantic feelings again. It will awaken the passion in them that maybe has died in your relationship. You know, if your loved one is taking you for granted, doesn't take you on dates anymore, you guys aren't as sexy or intimate as you used to be, this will help magnify that and they will focus more of their intention on you. And all of these things are proven to work. Please be respectful in the comment section. I know when blood is involved, it is very easy to get scared and therefore defensive, but I'm telling you the safest way to do it and the cleanest way to do it. I don't want anyone to be irresponsible. I just want you guys to use magic to enhance things or to give you the upper hand in life this is not meant to make someone fall in love with you or love you okay so i really hope this helped you i hope this cleared things up about blood magic and as always i will see you guys later